Use a T20-bit to remove the eight screws securing the upper and lower housing of the steering wheel assembly. Remove the upper and lower housing of the steering wheel from the tube assembly. Unbuckle the wire holder. Unplug the LCD wiring connector from the control box. Use a 16mm socket to remove the two head bolts holding the inner tube assembly. Remove the steering wheel assembly from the tube assembly. Flip the steering wheel over. Use a T15 bit to remove the four screws that secure the two cord clamps. Use a T20 bit to remove the four screws on each corner of the angle measuring electric assembly. Use a T20 bit to remove the plastic holder and sleeve. Use a T20 bit to remove the switch plate on both sides. Use a T20 bit to remove the four screws on the base to separate the control assembly from the wheel assembly. Install a new control assembly and insert the LCD wire through the wheel assembly. Assemble the screen on the wheel assembly. Mount the switch plate. The direction of the plates should be consistent with the direction of the steering wheel. Tighten the two screws to secure the plastic holder and sleeve. Tighten the four screws to secure the angle measuring electric assembly. Tighten the four screws to secure the cables with the cord clamps. Insert the LCD wire into the connector on the side near the outlet. Mount the steering wheel on the tube assembly. Assemble the two lock nuts from the bottom and tighten the bolts using a 16mm socket. Plug the wire that connects to the control box and secure the wire holder. Tighten the 8 screws to secure the upper and lower housing. 